good. I'm assuming you're Amy, correct? Yes, hi. Do you need some more room? Oh no, I okay. just need less bags. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Head to your drop off at Presence Mercy Medical Center. All right. All right. Ready for the adventure? At work tonight? Yeah. <laughs> I, I work in the behavioral <laughs> health building. Gotcha. So it could be, it very well could be an adventure. Could be, could be. I don't know if I'm ready or not. Well, you're going. Yeah, I never know that till the morning after. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're headed there, so that's that's half the battle, right? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's a psychiatric building that's 126 years old. Dang. That's uh, that's quite amazing. There used to be one in Peoria that shut down called. Ah, uh, dang it! I forget the name of it right now. That's where I'm from, from Peoria, and. They had a facility like this. Oh, they and, did? Yeah, and it was it housed a lot of people. And then I get I can't remember what happened. It, funding ran out or they yeah, didn't want to do anything. Yeah, funding for mental health. Yeah. Not and fun. so they, they pretty yeah, much like stay on smoke shut it down and, and all those people were just kinda like Lincoln. left out to fend for themselves basically. They, well and there's a lot of that now. It's crazy. Because in the eighties that all of this like long term treatment mm -hmm. but there was one in Timmy Park that was shut down. Mm -hmm. So then they were all left to like homeless shelters right. or unfortunately like the penitentiary system. Right, right. Which is not how we should be taking care of people right. that are mentally like challenged. Like Correct no, I get you, yeah for sure. It's I mean it, it's that's what even got me interested in behavior because I did labor and delivery mm -hmm. for like 25 years. Right. Then when COVID broke out, mm -hmm. I could, there was just a lot of like mistrust with patients mm -hmm. and us like moms delivering babies by themselves mm -hmm. and separating everybody from their infants. It's crazy. It was nuts. So I went into behavioral health because I volunteered always at the homeless shelter. Right, right. right. So, and so I went to Lamont and I worked in residential mm -hmm. treatment, but then now I'm with the child and adolescent okay. here. So, right. but it does, I mean, this is a more controlled setting, mm -hmm. but it was like Lamont, it was all private pay or private insurance. Oh, wow, okay. And we had people that were like there for a year mm -hmm. because it wasn't, there were no beds for us to transfer anybody to discharge them. It wasn't safe for us to let anybody go home right, right. during the pandemic because who knows when they were going to be seen again. Mm -hmm. And there were like a couple completed suicides Dang. when I first went over there. They were not from our residential right. treatment, but they were from like the outpatient. Right. And, um, so we were like, wow. So we shut down our intensive, our outpatient treatment center and kept everybody like in this high end, it was mm -hmm. like a high end eating disorder mm -hmm. facility. And we kept the like, health. We're going to keep 280 people there. Dang, that's a lot. So that's all. And they're all, it's all women and, right. or like adolescents. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or they have gender issues. Mm -hmm. Some of them may have like mismatched whatever yeah but we're seeing all that now right with the, with the child and adult they want different pronouns and they what we ask and we're sensitive to it it's an issue that there, there's a whole bunch of issues oh, i'm sure eating disorders in both male and female mm -hmm. there, it's not just women no and i'm like this it, this is not a healthy population no it's not <laughs> so right it's now, not <laughs> and and there ever nobody wants to talk about mental health it's like dirty words and like oh yeah it's, it's, i'm like it's okay so now what are we gonna do when it's like oh now it's like really a problem and now mm -hmm. oh maybe we should try to play catch up <laughs> right and it's not helping no because now they're only funding like substance abuse right right what i'm seeing is not substance abuse. like that's right. a small like everything else is bad yeah well so, have a good day yeah thank you you're welcome you're welcome